have him introduce himself and tell us about it. Again, introduce yourself. Everyone needs a network. I, I'm uh, Dr. Mike Andriano. And Mr. Andriano, you un- uh, you're a doctor. I don't, I don't, I don't mean to. Uh, to <laughs> My patients call me Dr. Mike. So Do they? Yeah. Okay, so I, I noticed that on your website that, uh, that you always refer to yourself to doc- as Dr. Mike on the, on the website. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from the East Coast. Uh, Where's the East Coast? What's, where on the East Coast? I know uh, East upstate Coast. New York. Uh, I, high school years was in New Hampshire, and then we uh, left New Hampshire when I uh, got into college. So I moved uh, around quite a bit and settled in Chicago after uh, going to chiropractic college in uh, Lombard. Oh, what's, what's the college in Lombard? What's there? It's, uh, it used to be National College of Chiropractic. Oh. Now it's uh, National University of Healthcare, I believe. Oh, uh, and that was, uh, that you said, 25 years ago? I graduated 25 years ago. I started in 1990. You have a family, don't you? I do. I have uh, Tell us about a your wife family. and uh, five children. My oldest is 16. My youngest is four and a half. My brother always said, I have, I have uh, he had five kids too, and he, he always said, we wanted to have more. We have all the stuff. We might as well have more. <laughs> so, but you know, I, th- I think, uh, I think, uh, I think kids are great. So you know, I, that's the only thing. I, I think that's my biggest regret in not having more kids. I'd like to have kids. So. Everyone says after the third it gets easier, but uh, <laughs> I keep telling my wife it's easy for me. You're at home all day. <laughs> that's true. Uh, it, it, you know, uh, why? God bless wives, right? Absolutely. Uh, okay, so so you moved here to Chicago. Is that where you met your wife? I met my wife here in Chicago. She was actually uh, a friend of a patient, and uh, we got set up on a blind date. Is that right? And the rest is history, yes. I know, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we were talking a little bit before the show that when kids go away to school, right, they don't come back. You didn't go back. You came here, and you never went back. So. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so that's why I fear that my kid's going to go away and never oh, come I, back. I left, and my parents moved, so I had no place to go back to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so uh, did you start with your own practice, or how did you begin in the, in the work that you're doing now? Uh, d- the first year I got out of school, I uh, worked for another guy for about a year. I went down to Florida for another year because I was looking for that warm weather. Ended up not liking Florida the way I thought it would. So I came back, and it uh, wasn't too long. I uh, started my own office. I had a partner for about a year and a half, and uh, he ended up moving away, and I continued. So you've, been, so you've had your own practice for some time? Is it, and you're in the uh, west. Oh, wh- where is your practice? We're up on uh, the Park Ridge, uh, Rosemont area, oh. just a little east of uh, O'Hare right Airport. Right up the block here because we record here in Elk Grove Village. Yeah, we're so real convenient right off the expressway, Cumberland and Higgins Road. Uh, very easy to get to in the first Midwest Bank building. I've been there since I got married, 2002. Oh, uh, you know, I my office is downtown, as you know, yep. and, and I uh, – I I live up, up north in Lake County. Most people who run their own business, they, they live really close to their to their pr- practice, but I don't, <laughs> and you don't. So, uh, talk a little bit about that, about the, the traveling and how that how does it affect us? Yeah, the uh, first few offices I worked out of, I did live real close and enjoy that because uh, w- the one I really was at for a while, I actually lived above it in the city. And uh, it was right before I got married. And one night uh, we had some gang activity in front of the office, oh. and uh, I actually witnessed a, a shooting. So uh, my wife said, we're not living here. So uh, the, <laughs> the closest place I found was uh, up by Park Ridge and a uh, real convenient location. We got up there, and uh, I, I love that office. We attract people from uh, all over the Chicagoland area, so it's convenient that's for the western suburbs that's of key, Chicago yeah. and northern suburbs. That's key. Got to be, co- be convenient. Right? Yeah. People. And that's uh, that's one reason why I'm downtown, to be conv- convenient for Absolutely. people. Absolutely. So people can come out and, and, and see it. <laughs> up north, it's, uh, it's kind of limit. <laughs> you know? It does And limit. again, right here in Park Ridge, as you mentioned, it, all the uh, highways may which is why Rosemont is so successful. Absolutely. We got yeah. 294 right there, 90. The blue line stopped actually right at my office. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's it's easy to get to. Uh, I, I, I like the blue line. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, tell me. So, again, you've your practice is uh, – you, you started as a chiropractor, but you do more than that now, don't you? Yeah. I, uh, I am a chiropractor. I was trained as a chiropractor. Uh, but as I started working as a chiropractor and seeing the traditional chiropractic patients – I started getting a little, uh, not bored, but uh, seeing the same thing over and over and started uh, trying to figure out new ways to help my patients and uh, got into a little nutrition, saw that it uh, made a big difference in what I was doing. And over the uh, 
years. I just got more and more into the nutrition side of things and gave up most of the actual hands-on chiropractic adjusting part of it. Chiropractic, uh, the idea of chiropractic is working with the nervous system to optimize communication between the brain and the body and the body and the brain. And uh, when I would work with someone, you're looking for interference in that communication. So we're looking for what's called a subluxation, a bone out of place in the spine. And someone would come in with... Say that again, th 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 that word, because I never heard that word. Sub sub say, say that again. Subluxation. Subluxation. So that's a, uh, a old chiropractic word. Some chiropractors still use it that uh, are a little more philosophy orientated uh -huh. in the uh, chiropractic world and, and then some of the uh, doctors don't they'll use some other terms for the same idea but subluxation is a real chiropractic term uh -huh. and uh, so a chiropractor generally is looking at the spine looking for one of these bones that's moved out of place it's a sub subluxation interfering with the nervous system and uh, when people will come in with whatever problem it is if it's headaches or back pain or digestive issues sometimes you would uh, look for that subluxation and uh, correct it by hand, move the bone back into place. It frees up the nervous system to optimize that communication, and people uh, start to respond to it. But what would uh, really kind of annoy me is I'd reset that bone. I'd have the spine all lined up. They'd walk out of my office and come back a few days later, and that same bone was back out of place, and that drove me crazy. So I was looking for answers. <laughs> and... Um, the, uh, each segment of the spine, it's almost like a uh, circuit break in your house. So e one segment would uh, be a circuit for your liver and another segment for your stomach and another, another segment for your kidneys. And um, I'm going to interrupt you because I, I, don't think I don't think people understand. I certainly don't un didn't understand that, uh, that uh, if I had a, a liver problem or if I had digestive issues, I sh I, that a chiropractor could help me. I know if I when I had a back issue, I went to see a chiropractor. That makes sense. I said, "Well, you know, you have a back problem. That they can a chiropractor can help you." But but I I didn't never I never heard about uh, these other issues. But it makes po total sense. Yeah, you, you know, chiropractic uh, 100, 110 years ago when it first started, uh, this idea of the nervous system was what it was founded on. So. Uh, well, what we're going to do, and I'm, I, I don't want to interrupt you, but we're going to run out of time. And I, what I, now, next the next se uh, segment, we're going to talk to to the doctor, Doctor Mike, about uh, about people he he's helped. So remember, now this show is sponsored by Open Tax Resolution. At uh, and if you're having problems with tax issues, just give us a call at three one two six six four six six four nine. Now remember, uh, this is AM five sixty. The answer. Listen to our sponsors and come on back on the other side.